Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another synthetic wig review for you guys. So if you like the wig that I have on, this is my boo, Pot Blossom. She is discontinued. I talk about that in a recent Get Ready With Me video. If you like my makeup and my hair, I talk about that in that video. So make sure you watch that before this one or you can watch it after, it's up to you. So. I am going to be reviewing a wig from Bobbi Boss. It has been a while since I reviewed a wig from their HD Lace collection. I think I have a whole playlist of, of those wigs. If I don't, I'll have it created before this video goes up if you wanna see those wigs. But when they came out at the beginning of 20, the beginning of 2020, they were very popular. But what a lot of us noticed was it was very hard to blend their lace because it was so light. But since then, I feel like most of us have learned how to tint our lace to, you know, to the complexion that we are. So, um, I was not going to get this wig, but then I started seeing it on everybody and everybody looked good. Um, Weezy has a good review. Gladys is at your hair. Um, Faith has a review on this one as well. But then recently I was watching, uh, Shanice Nicole and I was just like, I couldn't even make it through her whole review before purchasing this. It just looks so good. Like even without makeup, it was still popping on her and looked very natural. So I was like, let me go ahead and get her. Uh, definitely check out everybody's review if you want to see it in different colors. So I have Natalia in the color 1B. I am not, well, I've become more of a 1B girl this year. Um, but I usually go with number twos, but this wig is so popular, I couldn't find her in the number two. So she is a short everyday wig and she is a 13 by seven lace front wig. So she's she has a 13 by seven hand tied lace, HD transparent lace. It's a glueless wear, but I know I'm probably gonna use some got to be glued on mine. Flawless free parting, natural baby hairs, and a secure elastic band wear okay and it says it's pre-plucked okay so we're gonna see it is quite dark but we can see we'll see if we can make this work um this is a pre-plucked hairline Ooh, definitely pre-plucked at least on my hand anyway the lace is quite light like a light brown you do have baby hairs on there here's the construction of the cap we have a comb on the right side, comb on the left side. You have that 13 by seven area for parting. So you can part it right, left, middle, however you want to. You got a mesh cap in the back, a comb in the back and adjustable straps and an adjustable elastic band. So I'm gonna take off my Boo Pop Blossom. Now with wigs like this, I do recommend to apply your wig without makeup, but as a, you know, content creator sometimes I can't do that because I've already I like to batch my content so sometimes that just doesn't work out so I'll just wipe off my forehead and stuff I got all kind of holes and stuff in my <laughs> we kept okay so let's zoom in and see how she feels on the head is she big head friendly and I'm going to try it without the elastic band Uh, feels kind of feels medium at most. Okay, I'm not mad at that size though. It doesn't feel like it's smothering my head. They got the baby hairs popping. This looks so conservative. I might have to change my outfit to make this less like conservative looking. So, ooh, they did a good job on that hairline, but I'm probably still gonna tweeze it. Hairline is popping. They did that. Come on, Bobby Boss. Okay, now my lace does not come all the way to the sides though, so I, you know. Okay, I don't know if that's going. I can see how somebody could wear this glue is because this lace does lay really flat to the head, but it's beautiful so far. Um, this is very short. This is um, this is about as short as I'ma go. This is like ten inches. I'm six feet tall, so I do have a longer neck, so keep that in mind. So if you're shorter than me, it might fall differently. I might change my shirt. This is really pretty, just like the style of it. It's 
It just looks like somebody got like a silk press and they just got a lot of body. Can I get your number, baby? I'll give you mine if you give me yours. Can I call tomorrow, maybe? Ooh, I'm feeling down, so can you be my cure? Say, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I get yours? applied miss natalia so um she is giving what the girls were saying she was giving she's very very pretty yeah so let's get to the pros and the cons so i'll start off with the cons um i mean the lace i guess that could be a con but it's not that bad it's not that bad uh the only cons i kind of feel like even though this is this is a medium cap i feel like i didn't have that much lace to go over my edges on the sides and I've had the issue with Bobby Boss wigs before from this line so it's not a surprise because I had to do that with Camille where I just have to kind of blend my edges with the wig so it does kind of make it a little bit more difficult for me with side parts but I did show you guys the side part because I know y'all love side parts so so that's my only con with this wig pros I feel like this is a nice everyday length 
Actually, this is pretty easy to melt down because I'm wearing it more so like a five by five kind of closure because I don't have the sides glued down at all. And I just kind of colored the lace black over here because I realized I was just gonna wear this as a middle part. I probably will. So I think this is very beginner friendly. It didn't take me that long to apply. The lace is pretty good. Like it melts down really well. And I did do a sunlight test for you guys. It looks really good outside. Inside, I do have some ashy spots. Inside, I can kind of see a little bit of ashy spots, but baby, she looks good outside in the shade and in direct sunlight, she looks good. I'm keeping this on the rest of the day. I already reviewed another. I already had on my Pop Blossom today, but I'm gonna keep this one on. Lace look good, out, looks good outside, so that's what you wanna hear. I do have a little bit of baby hairs because I wanted some razzle dazzle with my hairline. Subtle baby hairs, and I think they look good. I did change my outfit outfit to something a bit more like grungy to grunge it up um, and make it less conservative. So I have on this thrifted flannel shirt. I have on, I took off one of my necklaces and just have one chain, and I have on hoop earrings, chunky hoops. So um, makeup does make a difference, like the choices you make with your makeup and your accessories. So I feel like it looks really good and, you know, I don't know, just more edgy than what I had on before. The style is really cute and everyday. Lace melts pretty well after you um, tint your lace. I just used my foundation that was on my beauty blender. And that's it. I put some powder in the part in space. This was very easy to apply, actually. Very easy. I could go with like a number two. Do they have a four? Let me see if they got a number four. They do have a number four. I bet the four is popping and it's probably dark too. Yeah, I would probably try a two or a four, but the one B is not that bad. Yeah, overall, Natalia is popping for real, y'all. She's pretty. I don't have like excessive. Well, I have some shedding because I did tweeze the hairline up a little bit, but it's already free tweeze. If you're not extra like me, you don't even have to do that. Tangling, I probably won't get tangling for a while with this one because it is on the shorter side, but you know, in the winter time we wear scarves and all that kind of stuff. So you might get some friction back there and have some tangling. Just get your pure silicone spray. It's in my Amazon storefront. Spray it, get a paddle brush, then you should be good. So um, overall, I like Natalia. I'm gonna give her, I don't know, she is giving. I'm gonna give her a nine and a half. I think she's gorgeous, really and truly. Um, it's just, I, I mean, I'm gonna give her a nine, nine and a half, because I can't necessarily wear this all the way on my edges for me anyway and I got a big head so I'm gonna have to like wear her as a middle part more often but I don't mind that because I like the middle part so I like everything she's given these these layers they just did a good job with this and y'all know I I like 16 inches somewhere around there I like longer wigs this is shorter but this is actually really really pretty gorgeous this kind of Texture feels like a light yakky. Yeah, it's a light yakky. It's not silky to me, but it's not like a blowout texture. So it's like a light yakky texture. Nice density. So you could wear this for fall and not feel like you need more density or something to keep your head warm. I think this is very pretty, y'all. So she is giving what everybody said she was giving. She is gorgeous. I'm gonna give her a nine, nine and a half. That's a high rating. That means go out there and get her because she is popping for real. So tell me down in the comments, have you already purchased her? You probably have, cause it's already a lot of good reviews out there already, but I wanted to go ahead and add my two cents to the sea of reviews that are already out there. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel cause I have been putting out um, consistently follow me on Instagram at I fancy cupcakes and hearts in the plan which is my planner channel which is my planner page thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys I get tired just thinking about you.